Hi, hi again. Today we're going to make a dish using nian gao or ting kui. So let's see what it is I have in mind. Come on, let's go. Here are some of the nian gao that I made for Chinese New Year. We'll cut it into thin slices about 2 to 3 mm. We usually eat our nian gao as a sweet or a dessert. But this time, I'm trying to make something different. In fact, I've tried some dishes before, but it wasn't very nice. But this is really, really nice. Then cut the ginger into thin slices. Cut the spring onion into 5 cm lengths. Smash and chop 4 cloves garlic. Oh yes, I love garlic. Slice the carrot into thin rectangular slices. Cut half a red pepper, remove the seeds and cut into rectangular pieces. Cut the boneless and skinless chicken breast into rectangular pieces about 2 to 3 mm thick. Since you're still around, please click the subscribe button. Season with white pepper powder and some salt. Mix thoroughly and then sprinkle some corn flour to coat. And show all the chicken pieces are covered with the corn flour and you can add in extra if need to. Set it aside. Now to make the sauce. In a jar, mix 1.5 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of water. Ah, don't forget 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce. In a pan, heat 1 cm of oil. When the oil is hot, add in the chicken pieces in one layer and fry until lightly coloured. Turn over and fry the other side for about half a minute until lightly coloured. Remove and drain. Repeat with the remainder of the chicken. Heat 1 tablespoon of oil or spray with calorie control spray into a pan. Put in the sliced ginger and fry for a few minutes until lightly coloured. Add in the chopped garlic and fry until golden brown and fragrant. Add in the carrots, stir and then add in the red pepper. Keep the chicken in the pan and mix. Then add in the sliced nian gao. Notice that I've cut the nian gao into thinner strips. Pour in the sauce which you have mixed earlier. Stir and bring to the boil and simmer for about 1 minute or until the sauce becomes a bit thicker. Add in the spring onion and stir. The dish is now ready and I'm going to garnish it with a bit of fresh coriander. I'm feeling a bit generous today, so I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of Shaoxing wine to make the dish a bit more richer. So, the dish is ready and we shall plate up. Mmm, look at the glossy food. Looks so yummy. This is your stir-fried nian gao with chicken breast. So, a bit of rice, a bit of the nian gao, and a bit of the vegetables. Mm. The chicken is savoury, the nian gao is sweet, and the sauce is salty and savoury. Very strong ginger smell, and it tastes really, really lovely. It's the taste of the saltiness and the sweetness, the contrast is really, really nice. So, I'm so happy I made this recipe and I hope you enjoy making and eating this as well. 
So until the next time, I'm Laura Chali, Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share with you my food journey. So don't forget to click like and hit the subscribe button so that you'll be informed of all the videos that I upload. And don't forget to share if you find my video useful. So until the next time, until the next recipe, ciao, bye, see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.